Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Jonesy8706 playing Farming Simulator 15. I'm just running my tractor back over here from the main farm. I just filled it up with fertilizer to go ahead and start on this uh, field number 4 here. We're going to get him going. I just, <laughs> I just noticed also that my fuel gauge is red. So we'll have to, in the near future, we'll have to remember to stop and get some fuel. So we're going to go ahead, I think, and get this guy ready to go ahead and start cutting some canola. It might be easier to just run him over separate and pull our header over with a tractor. I don't know for sure. We'll see how hard it is to get him hooked up here. Because I brought it over here with a tractor. That's why it's so dang close to this other header. Well, heck. There it is. Alright, let's get him ran over to field one. and When the time comes, we'll be ready to rock with our canola harvest. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy another combine too. I'm debating on whether to get the smaller of the case, the case IH, or just go ahead and get another 9770. The, uh, if I got another 9770, I could buy another 45 foot draper header. I don't think the small case can run, well, it, it'll re run it, the 45 foot draper. It just that the unloading auger won't be long enough to uh, actually unload anything. Uh, you can still do it, but it's not as easy, and you you really can't get close enough to uh, unload it while it's operating. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. I think I'll probably just go ahead and buy another John Deere. Might as well have two that match, you know, rather than kind of having a mismatch. It looks nicer anyway if you kind of have a cohesive crew go ahead and run this guy over there and maybe maybe we'll go ahead and buy a second one right now why not right I need to oh I need to buy all the bailing equipment too maybe I should do that first uh, we have enough money it doesn't really matter I guess but we'll see Oh, goodness gracious. That is awful. And look at all these people walking down the road. They act like they didn't see it. They're like, geez, Louise. I guess I never did go and find a modded John Deere 45 foot header, did I? Maybe I had to do that too. get this guy hooked up and get him ready to go all right wrong button as usual all right get him folded up and we're ready to go as soon as our crops come up and are ready to harvest Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and buy another combine, I think. Why not? We have a little bit of extra money. We can afford it, right? I'll go ahead and get our header while we're thinking about it. Where is it at? I went past it. Oh, I went way past it. Goodness. Cool. All right. Wow, that took a big chunk out of our money supply, didn't it? Wow. Once again, my driving skills on display. Oh, and I'm not even doing this right. I need to pull it over there. Bear with me, guys. I'll wake up eventually.
Alright. Maybe painful, but we'll get there. So we're back over here at the field and we have our second 9770 kind of lined up and ready to rock. So I've noticed that our sprayer, or our fertilizer spreader rather, got to the end of his line. So we'll go ahead and run him down here and start him going on the shorter edge of the field. I'm still debating whether to go ahead and buy a baler and get our straw kind of bundled up that way. It's, so, it's such a pain in the butt to think about because I don't know what to do with the straw once we get it picked up if we do use our, our little uh, forage wagon or whatever in the heck they call those things. I don't want to leave it full of straw and not be able to pick up any grass clippings should the need arise, you know? So that's kind of why I was leaning towards buying the baler. Hmm. Oh, what to do? Because we, we need to buy a semi and a grain trailer also to keep up with both of our combines now. But I think, I think we about have to have the baler. I think we should have, if we buy, I uh, have a modded semi that's quite a bit cheaper, <clears throat> excuse me, because the in-game semi, 215,000. <sighs> eh, it's, it's a lot, really. But if you get the modded one, 80,000 or 85, the only difference between these two is this one has shiny chrome and this one has matte chrome. That's eh, uh, obviously the color, this one's blue, but uh, as far as horsepower and anything like that, they're the same, so. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is buy the cheaper truck even though it's not quite as easy to drive and then that way we are, we know for sure we can afford the bailing equipment and the truck and trailer. It seems like we're buying a lot but it's kind of a nice thing about when they have those high demands you know you can, you can go ahead and afford more of these things that you need or that you want rather than having to kind of space it out <laughs> maybe it's a little cheap but it's hey it's not our fault that they had the high demand when they did right alright we'll go ahead and get that guy and this guy and that should be we'll have to get a loader a loader and a bale spear when that time comes to uh, move our bales around when we when we get them over to our cows but we don't need to do that for quite a while yet. We're just going to go ahead and hook up, good grief, hook up to these guys and get them kind of out of the way so and take them back over to our main farm. Now this is probably way too much tractor for this baler in real life, so we'll, <laughs> we'll end up using our doits for it. I wonder also, hmm, we should probably go ahead and buy a grain cart if we're going to buy a semi. Gosh, that's, see that's what I'm saying, all these things they just add up. I don't think we're going to have quite enough money to buy all of that at once. Where are we going to put this? I guess we can just kind of dump him off in here for now. get our bail wagon get him moved out of the way as well I don't know if I mentioned at the start of the video but we did um, finish up all of our planting so we've got canola on fields 1 and 4 and wheat on 5, 6 and 16 I'm hoping that we can make bales on all of it, but I'm not 100% sure. And even if we can make canola bales, I don't think I want that many bales, so I'll probably just do 5, 6, and 16 anyways. I don't know how much we really need. Alright, let's see if we can do a little bit better job of hooking this guy up. Alright, that was a little less painful. A 
we'll run this guy back over. And hopefully by the time we get this parked up, our fertilizer spreader will be ready to go ahead and move on to field 5. I've been having some issues with my uh, recording software lately. It uh, hasn't been saving, so hopefully all these videos will be <laughs> will make sense. Hopefully I won't be losing any of them and having to kind of go back and fudge it. Get this guy. All right, good enough. What is he doing? Okay. Looks like he's ah oh, he's out of fertilizer again. I have not been doing good at making sure that he's got fertilizer, have I? That's all right. That's not going to hurt us. Once he gets to the end, we'll go ahead and run him over to back to the main farm and start him on 5 and 6. Alright, so we just got back over here to 5. We finished up 1 and 4 on our fertilizer spread, and so we'll go ahead and get him rolling on this one. I'm pretty sure he should be able to finish both of these fields on just the one tank, one fill, so we should be okay there. Go ahead and... Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to go ahead and buy our semi and our trailer. Gosh, we're buying a lot of stuff. Now, the real question is blue or white? Uh, we'll go blue. Why not? And then we'll go back and get our trailer to match it. So which uh, which of the smaller trailers? We have this guy, right? Yeah. So we'll get hmm, 49,335 capacity or 42,000. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the bigger one even though it's a little bit more expensive. All right. Cool. And we'll use our map to... Oh gosh, I went the wrong way again. Sweet! Now I haven't checked the audio on this guy, so if it's super loud, <laughs> I'll fix it in the next videos. But right now I haven't checked it, so if it's bad, I apologize. Awesome. This is going to be a lot better than using those uh, little pull tippers with our tra uh, tractors. This is going to be a lot faster. You know what? Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and run this guy down to our cows just to check and see how far along our fermentation is. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I went ahead and sped the time up to 30. Um, there's, I mean, all the planting is done. Actually, you know what? I can go ahead and probably speed it up even to 60 because all the planting is done and it's not going to take us that long to finish our fertilizing so we'll be that much closer to ready when when the fertilizing is finished so alright it's kind of an in cab view pretty cool little truck lots of detail it's really really nice whoops <laughs> I always forget that it oh goodness no brakes as usual I'm running into things you guys are probably used to that by now I'll get this guy kinda ran over here rather than trying to run him in there and run into more stuff I'm just gonna go on foot let's see how far along this is oh yeah I guess I 48% fermented, so 49. It's not going to take too long now that I, whenever I have the time sped up, it'll really go. So once that's finished, we'll go ahead and buy a loader for one of our tractors and a bucket and dump some of that into our silage trough, and that'll hopefully really boost our cow's output as well. So 
Well guys, I don't know exactly how much I have for this video, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I apologize if these are a little shorter than I was doing before, but we're kind of just getting all of our chickens in a row or whatever the expression is so we can start our harvest. So I will go ahead and uh, finish fertilizing and speed up time off camera so that next time we'll be ready to start canola harvest. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy the content. Go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment and a like and I will see you next time.